Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta. And today I want to talk about the Batch Enter Transactions feature in QuickBooks Desktop Accountant Edition. Now if you're in your client's file working with their client's version, you can unlock the accountant tools to access these tools as well. But that's not the purpose of this video today. We'll just assume that you already have either the accountant's version that you're using or you've already unlocked those tools. And as you can see, I'm in the Sample Aries Landscaping and Garden Supply client file and I have opened up a brand new credit card that I have just started accumulating charges for. This is called our Sample Credit Card and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to bring in those transactions without doing those individually. So let's go ahead and see how this is done in here. We're going to go up here to the, the accountant menu and we're going to go down here to batch enter transactions to open up that screen. And as you can see when we open that up you have several transaction types that you can work with and we're going to actually work with the credit card charges and credits. So when you do that when you select that then you can go over here and select the card that you want to enter those transactions in and you can also customize these columns if you want to and I do have two screens so I have to bring this over here so we can actually add remove and reorder columns around if we wanted to but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the columns here that I have so what I've done is I've actually gone into uh, using uh, one of the tools that I use and there's actually a couple, uh, uh, there's several that you can use depending on if you want to bring the data in all at once. Some people uh, use the PDF to Excel.com which is a free conversion tool and I've heard people say good things about it. So this is not about teaching you how to use those conversion tools. You can go to those websites and play around with those and see what you think of them. I actually use one that I paid for. It's called PDF2XL Enterprise. And this I did actually pay for. It ran me around $300. And so I was able to extract the information I needed by column, which is what you'll see when I go into my Excel document here. And so what I did is I had actually a, a sheet that I had several pieces of data, but I'm only going to work with just a handful of this data for demonstration purposes to make it easier for you hopefully to get. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to go ahead and select this column right here to start with the date. And it's kind of important that you do this in a certain order because you're not going to be very successful and you'll find yourself spinning your wheels if you get out of a certain order. Okay, so I'm going to get back into the QuickBooks file here. Basically, you just copy from the Excel spreadsheet and then you paste and then all those values go down in there and of course it'll automatically put in zero for the amounts here. You don't want to do anything with the amounts until the very end. That's very important because otherwise you're going to mess yourself up. And, and that also includes if you're going to be doing any splits. So for instance, let's go back and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do this entered from CC statement dates and do all that at one time too. So I'm going to copy and like I said there's probably other ways that you can do all of this. I just wanted to show you that you know this is workable and, and it's still a lot quicker from doing this manually as well. So and I copied that and now I'm going to go ahead and paste that going down and then like I said here I've got quite a few items and, and I'm looking at my statement and then I can go down here and I can go ahead and depending on the vendors and all that I can pretty much go ahead and figure out what you know I'm just gonna pick some of these for random it's gonna probably be easier to do that so we're gonna go down to our vendor area and I'm gonna pick water and this would be probably utilities and then you can do all that going through and I'm gonna add a few more of these in there so by the time I get back with the magic of editing then you'll see I'll have all that filled in before I get to the amounts 
Okay, so we have, with the magic of video editing and pausing, we have all the accounts and payees entered into our form. And so the only things we have left to do is to enter our amounts. But before we do that, I want to go ahead and do one item that needs to be split, and that is this loan. So if we go back to our spreadsheet here, you'll see that that loan amount is 114, no, 1114, I believe. Let me make sure that that lines up with what we need here for 81. Yes, okay. So what we want to do is to highlight this line and open up the split. And that opened up in my first screen, so I'm going to move it over here. So let's just say for the purpose of the exercise we're doing here to make it simple, we're going to go ahead and make the loan, um, uh, the principal amount 111, actually 1100, and then the interest will be on the loan will be the remaining $14. And of course, it would probably be more than that. Actually, let's change that. Let's say it's $1,000 for the principal and $1,114 for the loan because that will probably make the difference. So the principal and then loan. This is go ahead, I mean, in, in interest, I mean. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So that's already entered in. We don't have to do anything with that. We just have to make sure that an amount matches what's on here, which it does. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and copy all this to our sheet. And that should copy all the way to that point. And then we're going to do that for the next one as well, going below that. And like I said, there's easier ways to do this. I just wanted to show you if you're first starting out and you don't have a whole lot of tools available to you that th these are some ways that you can do this to kind of speed things up for you. And you can see if you have probably three times as many of these transactions here. Now if you go if, if you had a list of all your different accounts then you can actually probably put those on your spreadsheet maybe somewhere out in this area right here so that way you can and, and maybe have some drop downs that you can create so that way you can create a separate column just for that so that way you can copy and paste those down in there as well because it'll work with that as long as they have the same spelling as what's on the sheet but with that already done and then you can look at the total charges and see if it matches up with what's on your statement and then you can go ahead and save these in one fell swoop and you're going to get a box to confirm yes do you want to continue yes and then once you do that notice that the total over here changed from zero and then you also get this little box that says 14 transactions have been saved so you go OK and then we can go ahead and click on that and you can see all those charges have been entered in there OK and then you can also enter any payments that you have through that as well as a negative number so anyway, hopefully this will help you today. And like I said, the purpose of me showing you this is so that way you can see some of the tools that you have as an accountant user to help you speed up your processes and, and making you more efficient in the work that you do. So take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel as well as share it with others. I am adding on average one video per week, including the occasional motivational video. I would love nothing more than to help you maximize your usage of QuickBooks desktop and online. My email is below as well as the number where you can text me for more information and to set up an initial consult. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.